What you should do when you're interviewing an attorney to represent you in your ERISA appeal, and they can't explain to you the appeals process, and they tell you, you should hold your evidence for trial. Well, if those things are the subject of your discussion, you need to quickly say, you know, I think I'm going to interview a couple other attorneys. Well, why is that? Look, the appeals process is the trial of your case. In an ERISA disability case, you're only gonna have 180 days in which to file the appeal. And writing a letter saying, I appeal, is not gonna cut it. You need to get the disability carrier's file so you understand the basis of their denial. And often, I'll find 15 to maybe even 20 reasons in my appeal letter why that appeal was wrong. That means that we marshal the medical evidence, we marshal vocational evidence, we marshal lay evidence, and I write an appeal letter that is 25 to 65 pages long because it is the trial of your case. And the second point is that if the lawyer says, oh, you know, we're gonna have a trial, we're gonna be able to uh, have you testify, have your doctors testify, that's absolutely wrong. There is no trial in an ERISA disability case. You can't hold your evidence for your day in court because once the appeal process is done, the record is closed and it's pretty hard to add anything new to the file that the judge ultimately may be reviewing. If you have any questions about finding the right ERISA disability attorney for you, contact me today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation. I can help you get the disability benefits you deserve regardless of where you live in the United States.